Hey guys, welcome back to the iOS tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over the activity indicator and also got a little game for you. Well, maybe your girlfriend. All right, so, well, first things first, we got to download the project that I pre built for you guys. It basically is a UI web view and it takes you to the game. And, well, I'll show you the game quick. Well, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. All right, so basically, this game, you got to click this button here and it's pretty difficult especially on the iOS simulator iPhone screen and whoever clicks that button and gets me a screenshot I'll send you something you know so shoot me an email or shoot me a, a message saying you got it and uh, the first one you know shoot me that message all right so anyways to get the project you uh, go to our website go to mybringback.com go to the tutorials section Within the tutorial section, you should see, well, if you go right away, you'll see iOS 6, and then it'll say something like um, Activity Indicator, or go up to your search box, click Activity Indicator, and search for that on our site. Otherwise, there should be a link also that you guys can follow to get the project direct, so hit that up. All right, once you got the project, we're basically in Xcode 4.5. Um, so we're using the storyboard function, and we're going to go to the iPhone storyboard because basically I built this thing in the iPhone. Um, settings here and I've got a UI web view and that's where it basically takes you to the game alright so now to get to actually what we're gonna do for this tutorial we're gonna be taking an activity indicator putting it on screen and so this basically tells the user that hey something's loading in the background alright and so typically when this happens you want to use an activity indicator when you don't know basically the the length of time that something's gonna load and so basically that little spinner just spins and drives you nuts on the screen until you're finally like, all right, screw this, I'm going to a different different web app or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by building the actual interface and the view. And so we're going to go over to the object over here, go ahead and search for like activity or indicator of some sort. You'll see that, click and drag that. We're going to bring that on screen. You see we can basically place this within our view. So you want to think about where the user is actually going to be looking to see for this activity indicator. Most of, the, most of the time you put it in the center, up towards the top, you could put it in like a navigation bar. Um, I'm just going to throw it kind of in the center here. Alright, so now I'm going to select that activity indicator and you'll see that we've got, if you go over to the attributes menu, we've got a few things that uh, are correlated to this. So we can change the style, we can change it to a white or large white and also the colors we I'll just go ahead and do some red there and then we've got some behavior buttons that we'll go back and uh, we'll use later and I'll explain what those do animated animating obviously it just shows the little spinner animating around and around and then hides when stops we'll uh, we'll come to that here in a second all right so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna hook this up to our view controller class here and in doing so we're first going to take the UI activity indicator and we're going to hold control. Oh, sorry, let me let me backtrack. We're going to hold control, click and drag for you guys that uh, haven't done that before. And once you let go, you'll get prompted with basically a connection. You can do an activity outlet or outlet collection. And in this case, we're just going to do the outlet. Make sure this type here is the activity indicator. One time I selected the UI web view and I was just confused for like, 20 minutes straight I was like what in the world this thing should be working but uh, anyways the name we're just gonna go pretty simple here and just put in activity indicator and uh, storage is weak in this case is fine we're gonna go ahead and connect this alright so once you connect it that'll be pretty much the last thing that we'll have to do as far as objects and outlets alright so once you get your activity indicator outlet hooked up I'm gonna go back over here and kind of explain what's gonna happen basically this UI web view which I've already got a URL pre pre-populated is going to be loading into this UI web view. This UI web view is going to be talking to this activity indicator. And we're going to do that by using a delegate. All right, and we'll get to that here in a second. But basically when this loads, it's going to say, hey, activity indicator, I'm loading right now, so go ahead and start spinning. That's, that's the first thing we're going to tell it. Then we're going to tell it once I've loaded that uh, activity indicator stops spinning. All right, so we're going to do two things. But the main thing about that is we basically want to delegate the and pass this off with a protocol to control this activity indicator. 
we're going to do that with the UI web view delegate so in our header file I'm going to scoot this over here so you guys can see we're going to go up here just after the UI view controller we're going to put in the carrots and uh, we're going to put in web view delegate UI web view delegate and we're going to end it with uh, finally the greater than sign all right so we're, we're basically, this is going to open it up so our UI web view can delegate to the activity indicator and it can tell it different things based on what it's doing. All right, and that's the loading process. So that should be everything that we have to do within this header file.